Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you a pretty quick way how to create snow effect or moss effect or wet effect or whatever you like onto your geometry and this will be created in the material so it can be applied to all the objects in your scene that are using the same material. Alright, so let's jump to it. I'm just gonna select this rock and this is a quick sell rock and what you need to do is I need to go to my material and this is a child material, it's not the master material. So I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to find this parent and I'm going to click on this magnifying glass over here. Let's just click on it. And this will di direct me to my master material. And what I need to do is I'm going to double click on my master material. And what I need to do over here is I need to place a snow texture because I'm creating some snow effect over here. So I'm going to search for snow and I'm going to search in my whole project because I have one texture which is snowy. But if you want to use another texture, you feel free to use it. Maybe moss, maybe some wet or maybe some sand that you want on top of your rocks. But I'm going to use snow. So when you place your texture inside the master material, the next step is to find a node which is called world aligned blend. So I'm going to search for world aligned blend this one and this will drive my snowy texture based on the z-axis in unreal engine so what we're going to use from this parameter is the blend bias and blend sharpness so i'm going to right click over here and promote a variable all right and promote another variable here at the blend bias okay and the second thing that we need to do is we need a lerp over here. So I'm going to hold L on my keyboard and add a lerp. And I'm going to add my texture sample over here to B. And I'm going to add my default albedo to A. So I want my A to be default and B to start blending based on the alpha. And my alpha will be from my world aligned blend over here. Drag and drop it over here. And I'm going to connect my lerp over here to my albedo so when you connect everything nothing will happen if I close this you can see that our rock is not having any snow effect on it so what you need to do is you need to go to your child material and here you're gonna have two new variables which is blend bias and blend sharpness I'm just gonna shrink down this a little bit so we can see the rock over here and I'm just gonna activate it and again nothing is happening and if I start to tweak the blend bias, we can see that all the texture over here is getting snowy. And our rock is completely covered in snow. And what's left is just this crack. And that's not what we want. So you need to have a balance between blend bias and blend sharpness. So let's start and tweak those parameters together. So if I tweak a little bit the blend sharpness, and start with the blend bias. You can see that we are spreading the snow across our texture over here. And I'm just gonna play a little bit more with the settings. And right now, as you can see over here, we have a snowy effect on our rock. And we have even in those cracks over here, a little bit of snow. But right now, the top of our rock is covered in snow. So when we tweak the parameters, our rock has now snow. And let me show you what will happen if we start rotating the rock. Because we are using the z-vector, the snow will stay only on the faces that are facing the z-vector. And as you can see here, those faces are not facing the z-vector right now. And those are the faces that are facing our z, so our up vector in Unreal Engine. And everything that is facing our up vector has slight a little bit of snow and that's what we want we want everything that is facing the z vector for example if it's snowing this will be the places that will be covered in snow all right if i rotate it over here you can see how uh, this surface is getting some snow so this is guys how you can create this snow effect on 3d geometry and this is pretty handy for game development as it is low performance cost Thank you guys for watching this quick one.
And before I end up this video, I want to let you know that I've created few Unreal Engine 5 courses. And if you find any of the topic interesting to you, you can go into the description below and check them out. And finally, if you want one month of Skillshare premium subscription, you can find the link in the description. Thank you guys for watching and happy game development. I'm out.